a terrifying string of attacks along I-75 in Detroit. Someone throwing bricks through car windows and one of them hit a two-year-old child in the head. In both attacks, there were young children in the car. And now police are trying to find the people who did it. This all happened last night. First at the I-75 service drive at Canfield, then right down the street at East Warren, and that's where two-year-old Robin Rivers was hit in the head. Sean Lay is live at Children's Hospital with how she's doing. Sean? It's absolutely heartbreaking, Devin. I can tell you right now, police, Detroit police, not far from here, near 75 and more and just over this way, they are searching for that person who is throwing rocks about this size at cars, putting little two-year-old Robin here in the hospital. She just went into surgery and we just caught up with her heartbroken mother. Big girls. This is little Robin Rivers. She is just two years old. Robin is being prepped in this video for emergency surgery this afternoon. Her skull is fractured after someone threw a brick through the window of the car she was riding in. Barbara Williams is Robin's mother. So your baby is in surgery right now? Yes, right now at this moment. What's going through your mind? Um, that I'm just afraid that I might lose her. It happened as Barbara, her mother, and Robin were driving along the 75 service drive at Forest at 1035 last night. There was so much blood, Williams thought her baby had been shot. It was just blood pouring out of here. I didn't know it was uh, what it was. I thought they had shot my daughter in her head. Tonight, police are calling the act outrageous. But what we do want them to know is that we will find you. But another mother, Brandy Williams. So I pulled over and confronted the guys. Says police would have found the brick thrower and his two friends if they had responded to her call to 911 after she says the same man threw a brick at her car at the service drive in Canfield, narrowly missing her two year old. She turned back and says the teens were walking back up the drive. But she says police told her to call her insurance. It's nothing we can do because no one was injured. What do you want this guy who threw the rock to know? I want him to know that you almost took my baby girl away from me. And that's she she all I she all I really have. All right, back here live, we are certainly praying for little Robin for a speedy, speedy recovery as she is now coming out of surgery and also supporting her mother who's inside with her daughter. The second mom, Brandy Williams, who was hit by this guy with the rock, she went face to face with him, got the best description that we have heard so far today. So we're going to give that to you right now. Light skinned African American young man, fade cut haircut, very thin mustache. He's short, 5'7 to 5'8, very thin build. She thinks he is about 17 to 18 years old. And yes, he was wearing that red hoodie, red hoodie seen in both cases. Back to you. Well, Sean, what happened when the second mother confronted the guy? What she did was go around, put, she had two kids in the car, took her kids to her work so they were safe. She drove back to the area. The guys were still there. She went face to face with him. He says, she says he apologized to her, took off his uh, hoodie and was walking away with it at that time. She had wished that a, a, a car, a police car come along at that yeah. point because the guys were still in the area. Wow. All right, Sean.